So now, Cosenza. After leaving the bus which took us to the town centre, we cross this river to the old part of town. This is the main street here and is named after Bernardino Telesio, the 16th century humanist. Halfway up is Cosenza's stately Duomo, consecrated in 1222 on the occasion of the visit by Frederick II, i.e. the successor to the Norman. It is Provencal Gothic with Baroque accretions. The interior is a mixture of Romanesque, Gothic and Baroque. We shall see a copy of a 13th century Byzantine icon, the Madonna del Pelerio, which was once carried around the countryside during times of plague. The original is now in the Archbishop's Palace. There it is on the right there. And here we have a Roman sarcophagus in reasonable condition. Perhaps I could just say here that perhaps the thing I was most looking forward to on this whole expedition was having a ride on the Trenino of the Calabro Lucana train line. This train takes a journey of about 76 kilometers up into the mountains and terminates at San Giovanni in Fiore after about two hours. More on that story later. We can also see a stone carving depicting Isabella of Aragon who died in Cosenza in 1271 while returning with her husband, Philip III, seen kneeling beside her, when they were returning from an abortive crusade in Tunisia. So back out into the sunshine and upwards towards the top of the hill. Uh, escalator. And so, after we have reached the top of the hill, we go out into this big square at the top. With uh, just over there the theatre. And over to our right, the Palazzo del Governo. And behind us, the park. And up there, the Castello. This one built by Frederick II. I've just come up three miles of one in three hill. Climbed about 14,000 steps. And I don't know why I do it really. We've still got up there to go. Well, there it is. Unfortunately, it's closed, so I shan't be able to climb to the top of the walls. Very unfortunate. And there's a bit of a view. I'm not really sure I can get my bearings. I mean, there's the new part over there, obviously, and I presume one of these bridges is where we came over into the old town, but. I can't even see the cathedral. Well, on the park, that little bit of the park. This is all. Down here now, I think I've found something I know. Now, there's the old new bit over there, as I said before. Now we've come right around here. And that is that square at the top of the hills where the. Uh, well, that's going to go in and whatnot. There's one more thing we ought to see whilst on this side of the river, and that's the San Francesco Church and Convent Complex. So I've come from up there, I'm going to try now going down these steps into there. Ah, ah look there, I've just seen the cathedral, so we should be able to get down here somewhere. No, Paul, this is not 
just a cool descent leading to somebody's backyard. Well, do we go that way? Or oh, this way? I don't know. And this is to the left, so that looks more promising. I suppose if you was coming up this way instead of down, and from there where we've just come down, you'd never think of going up there, would you? Now down here. Well, I was waiting here for another car to zoom round here, but just listen. Point and the last one came through to about 60. Closed for restoration. Uh, maybe there won't be too many more of these. Looks like a proper road down there. Yes, we're now miraculously back on that main street of the old town that we started off on. With regard to that Trenino story I was telling you about earlier, I actually found the station where it was reputed to leave from, but nobody knew anything about it, or if they did they weren't going to tell me. 